It's time for our GMA cover story, our series, The Science of You. This morning, we're talking about ticks. People are heading to the emergency room for bites at the highest rates in years. So Becky Worley is back with a look into how well insect repellents work. Good morning, Becky. Hey, George, whether it's mosquitoes or tick bites you're trying to avoid, or both, finding an insect repellent that you'll actually use on a regular basis and that your kids will use has become a critical part of summer. Ticks, tiny, hard to spot, and in some cases, diseased. The CDC estimates that almost half a million Americans are dealing with Lyme disease from tick bites every year. But lots of people are hesitant to use the most common repellent, DEET even though it's been proven safe and effective in concentrations up to 30%. I think there's a lot of interest in products that are non-DEET products. And we do know that some of these products like OLE and Picaridin can definitely offer good protection against ticks. Consumer Reports' top insect repellent ratings includes products with DEET, like their number one choice, Ben's Tick and Insect Repellent. Then Oil of Lemon Eucalyptus, like Repel, and Picaridin, the active ingredients in Sawyer Premium Insect Repellent. But when it comes to DEET alternatives, should you trust your health to them when the stakes of tick-borne disease are so high? We just collected this morning, and they're hungry. In 2015, Dr. Tom Daniels of Fordham University prepped 25 ticks, a test of sorts, to help me answer this question. First, the control. I have no insect repellent on my arm. This is our control test. I'm putting on a brave face, but you. Two on me now, four beelining for me. Five minutes? five ticks. This is all without insect repellent. But okay, now with the DEET spray. Five minutes, no ticks stayed on me. Okay, now for the lemon eucalyptus repellent. It's really shiny, but it smells good. Two ticks jumped on, but they both quickly jumped off. Five minutes with a DEET-free repellent, no ticks. Finally, I've used both my hands to test the other repellents, so I'm using my foot to test a picaridin-based repellent. They have not come anywhere near my foot. Five minutes with the picaridin spray, no ticks. And this still jibes with the Consumer Reports research. When I did this experiment, I didn't even realize how freaked out I was gonna be about having a bunch of ticks crawling right around my body. It was really unsettling. This is a big deal these days, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these are, are, you know, they're small, but they're scary creatures. And it's really wild to see these things kind of start to crawl up towards you. In our testing, the DEET products did really well, but the other ones were effective too. And so I can't really say that one product is necessarily better than another, but I can say that, you know, you're okay going with any of these options. Now, a few more tips for DEET. Consumer Reports says sprays and wipes work well, but for the other products, they found sprays to be the most effective. They also advise against the sunscreen slash insect repellent combos. And finally, another alternative compound they discuss is called permethrin. It's something that you put on your clothes, not your skin. They say this is especially good for those who spend lots of time outside, like for work. Uh, guys, this is, uh, was a serious uh, assignment. My skin is still kind of crawling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet. Way to take one for the team. Yeah. Back. You really did. <laughs> but seriously, so helpful. Thank Truly. you for doing that yeah. because it's a big concern. Yeah. Thank All right. You, thanks, Becky. Becky.